First look at Arrow OS beta build based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video, we're going to have our first look at the beta build of Arrow OS based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Do note, this is a beta build, so there will be no benchmark scores for this build. We're going to wait for stable builds before putting out benchmark scores for custom ROMs. Out of the box, we have Android Pi Recents in the building and if you tap on the app icon, it will give you the option of app info and if the application supports split screen, you will have the option of app info and split screen both. We also have quick setting styles. This is how they look and these are the various options you have, location, hotspot, invert colors. We do not see options for screen recorder and sound recorder as of now but i'm pretty sure they are going to be added down the line let us now go into settings nothing much to talk about in network and internet and connected devices we'll jump over to apps and notifications click on see all apps and this will tell us what all apps come baked in arrow os android 10 build so we have asop keyboard asop calendar asop camera application chromium is the web browser clock application asop contacts Digital well-being, email, files, gallery application, Google Play services and Play Store were installed when I flashed the Google Apps package. You have ASOP messaging, ASOP phone application, quick step launcher and the settings application. Then if we click on notifications, you can configure what all notifications you want to see on the screen. You want to see alerting and silent notifications. You want to see alerting notifications only and if you do not want to see any notifications, then you can use the third option. Click on advanced. You can enable toggles for allow notification snoozing, suggested actions and replies, allow notification dots, blink LED light on the POCO F1, your default notification sound, and you can also configure your do not disturb. Then we have time spent in apps. This is all about digital well-being. We'll have a look at this later in this video. Then we have default applications. You can set up your default browser, home, phone, and messaging application. Next up, we have permission manager. You can configure what all applications have access to the permissions listed on this page. So if we go into say the camera application, you have a section for allowed and you have a section for denied. So camera, messaging, phone, and settings have access to the camera and Chromium which is your browser and gallery do not have access to the camera right now. Then we have emergency alerts. So you can configure your emergency alert preferences, what all alerts you want to receive, and then your sound and vibration preferences for those alerts. Next up in settings, we have battery. So the first information you get is that all your apps are running normally and there is no specific app which is draining excessive battery in the background. Then you have your last full charge. When was that done? In my case, two hours ago. What is your screen on time since the last full charge? Then you have the option of battery saver. If you want to set a schedule, you can choose based on the percentage and then use the slider to configure the percentage at which your battery saver will kick in automatically. You also have the option of turning on or off your battery saver when your phone is charged at 90% or you can just click on turn on now to turn the battery saver on at that specific point of time in which case the dark theme which google added with android 10 will kick in then we have battery manager this is something which google added with android pi wherein the phone checks for any app which is draining excessive battery in the background and then it will tell you about that application and you can take appropriate action on that application whether you want to see the battery percentage on the top right of your screen or not and whether you want lock screen charging info so it will tell you the voltage the wattage and the battery temperature on the lock screen while the phone is charging a pretty nifty feature in my opinion next up we have display in display the first option is brightness level so you can configure the brightness level using the slider then we have night light you can schedule your night light to be none turn on at a custom time or turn on from sunset to sunrise or you can just click on turn on now 
to turn it on right away and control the intensity of your nightlight using the slider right above the turn on now option then we have adaptive brightness this is also something which google added with android 9.0 pi and with this the phone will learn your brightness preferences in different environments and once you're back in that specific environment the brightness will automatically adjust to the level which it had learned you can also customize your wallpaper so you have the option of wallpaper then you have screen timeout after how many seconds how minutes do you want your display to go to sleep and the screen to lock whether you want auto rotate screen or not what is the font size you're looking for what is the display size you're looking for you can configure your screen saver then we have lock screen display and that the first option is what all content you want to see on the lock screen whether you want to see all the notification content or you do not want to see any notification content whether you want to add users from the lock screen or not if there is a specific message which you want to see on the lock screen like your emergency contact information whether you want your phone's display to wake up when you receive a new notification then we have advanced settings you have a master toggle for ambient display and you also have toggles for pickup hand wave and pocket all of these options work absolutely fine then we have double tap to wake this option also works absolutely fine so let's say I lock the display and then double tap and bam working like a boss then we have a theming section in display so you can enable your dark theme click on got it dark theme kicks in accent color is also there this is something which Google has in developer options but arrow OS has moved this to the display section which is pretty nifty then you have the color bucket if you want to choose a specific color bucket you can configure your body font as well you have two options default and noto serif and you can also configure the icon shape so right now it is set to device default which is circular we can change it let's try a rounded rectangle the ui will reboot and there it is rounded ui rectangle icons in the building working absolutely fine next up in settings we have sound so you can configure your media volume call volume ring volume alarm volume whether you want vibration for calls or not you can configure your do not disturb and you can configure your phone ringtone you do not have separate ringtones for different sims you can configure your default notification sound your default alarm sound and you have toggles for dial pad tones screen locking sounds charging sounds and vibration touch sounds touch vibration screenshot sound and you also have me sound enhancer let us check our volume panel so this is our volume panel click on the three lines and you can also configure your media volume call volume ring volume and alarm volume without having to go into settings and sound so that is all about sound nothing much to talk about in storage then we have privacy the first option in privacy is arrow os stats so you can opt in or opt out of enable reporting which will you know give account of how many devices are running arrow os and you can also click on preview data which will show you what all data will be shared then we have permission manager we already talked about this in settings and apps then you have a toggle to show your password characters as you're typing them so you can enable this option or disable this option as per your preferences and again we have the option for lock screen what all content you want to see on the lock screen we've already discussed about this so we will skip that as well then we have location so you can see what all apps have requested location access recently in my case there are none but in your case if you have certain applications which requested access to the location they will show up over here and if you click on see all it will show you all the applications then we have app permission this is specifically for the location only so we have three subsections over here allowed all the time so chromium and google play store have access to the location all the time the camera application has access to the location only when it is in use and the gallery and phone application are denied access to location this is something which google introduced with android 10 then we have wi-fi and bluetooth scanning inside that you have two toggles which will help you control whether you want your apps which are running in the background to scan for wi-fi and bluetooth even if you have turned those options off then we have advanced in advanced you can see and configure your google location accuracy your google location history and your google location sharing next up we have security in security 
we have screen lock it works absolutely fine the fingerprint works absolutely fine as well face unlock does not work because google decided to remove face unlock from android 10 however i'm pretty sure down the line custom rom developers will add that as an option specifically for the poco f1 because we have a front ir camera which can be used for face unlock nothing much to talk about in accounts and accessibility then we have digital well-being which will show you how addicted you are to your device and if you want to control that you can do that from here as well so it will tell you how many times you've unlocked your phone so in my case in the last 11 minutes i've unlocked my phone thrice with zero notifications it will tell you how many notifications you receive from specific applications as well if you want to set app timers that is say you want to limit your time which you spend in a certain application you can do that from here you can set your wind down schedule you can manage your notifications and your do not disturb as well nothing much to talk about in google we'll jump over to system and in gestures we have three options the first is jump to camera so double press the power button twice from anywhere on the phone will open the camera application then we have prevent ringing so pressing volume up and power button at the same time will either set your phone to vibrate or to mute or you can just turn this option off altogether and then last but not the least we have system navigation in system navigation we have three options the first is gesture navigation this is something which google introduced with android 10 you, then you have two button navigation this is something which google added with android 9.0 pi and then you have the old retro style three button navigation which has been in android ever since so you can choose whichever one you are comfortable with and if you want to hide the notch you'll have to enable developer options go into settings system click on advanced go into developer options scroll down and you will have to look for display cutout which will let you hide the notch so we have the option of display cutout right now it is set to device default you can change it to hide and bam the notch will be hidden however the notch area will not be used for your notification bar so that is the downside but you do have the option of hiding the notch and developer options if you do not like the notch so there it is peeps that was our first look at arrow os based on android 10 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you <laughs>